Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, May 23rd. Looks like we'll stay pretty much high and dry through Wednesday, but things change before the week is over. Let's dive in and take a look. Sky cam shots this afternoon. First off, coming from Hamilton. Some high clouds overhead. Uh, that's the uh, blow-off coming from those storms to the northwest, and we don't expect any rain here tonight or tomorrow, or really most of the day Wednesday. We'll go down south. There's a look at the football stadium on the campus of Troy University. By golly, you know, uh, before you know it, September will be here. Of course, we got to get through summer, but I know the college football fans are counting down the days. And way down south, that's the Gulf Shore Sky Cam on top of the Phoenix All Suites, and they are in the process of the big cleanup after that hangout music festival this weekend. That's most number of people I think I've ever seen down there, and I've seen a lot of concerts and crowds down there, but the numbers obviously were huge. All right, uh, water vapor satellite shot, uh, kind of a wavy flow north of us. You can see an MCS coming through Missouri and Arkansas, and around here the ridge is not as strong as it was, and accordingly temperatures are not quite as hot as what we saw over the weekend with mostly mid-80s at 2 o'clock. Uh, Birmingham 85, Tuscaloosa, and Anniston 87. Uh, we'll see numbers similar to that the next couple of days. Highs probably around 90. And around the nation, you can see that it's pretty warm across the southern states. I see uh, 90s in Texas. I see 90s down there in South Georgia. Uh, but to the north, it's uh, considerably colder. And, of course, where the rain is falling in uh, Missouri and Arkansas, it's cooler with 60s out there. Check the watch warning map and just a lot of boxes. I count one, two, three, four, five, six severe thunderstorm watch areas, including one for the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is the... Uh, closest one to us, uh, this is a watch box for parts of uh, Arkansas and western Tennessee for that big uh, bow-shaped echo coming out of northeast Arkansas. And we have noted uh, tornado warnings with that feature this afternoon. Check the uh, day one convective outlook. This is for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. Got a couple of moderate risks. One over Oklahoma and parts of Kansas and Missouri, that does include Joplin, uh, includes Wichita, Kansas, Oklahoma City, and also a moderate risk that uh, includes Indianapolis and Cleveland. And surrounding that, a big slight risk all the way from Abilene, Texas, and almost Denver to the Atlantic coast around Chesapeake Bay. Uh, tomorrow, moderate risk, Southern Plains, Wichita Falls, Oklahoma City, Tulsa, Wichita, Kansas City, and again, Joplin is in that. That's the third day in a row with a moderate risk after taking a direct hit last night. Then on day three, which is Wednesday, we've got the standard slight risk from near Shreveport up to near Detroit and then back down to about uh, Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina. And within that, the higher probabilities are uh, over Arkansas, North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and points north. And again, we, we don't expect any issues here through the daytime hours Wednesday. And then Thursday and beyond, there is no severe weather risk defined in the day four through eight outlook, which is a good thing. And the QPF chart. This is rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning at 7 o'clock. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of about one inch near the shoals. And then tapers off down to barely anything down around Dothan. We'll check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow at 500 millibars. There's that new trough digging down out west. We've got the ridge here. The ridge tomorrow is actually stronger, and down below that, just like today, partly sunny, hot for May, if you will. The high should be close to 90, all the active weather well to the west and north. And the same thing on Wednesday. And, you know, you might mention a slight chance of a shower at some point uh, late Wednesday afternoon. But I think the day will be dry, and again, we'll be close to 90. All right, Thursday, here comes our trough axis. And down below that, this run a little slower. And, and again, you know, we saw evidence on the run last night of maybe a morning convective complex, and, and it kind of stabilizes things. Well, this time, maybe the GFS is saying, hey, it might be a deal where it just blows in here Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening. And obviously, if there's no morning storms, the air could be more unstable. And certainly with an upper uh, a trough like that coming in, there is clearly support for strong storms and maybe severe storms. It's certainly a possibility. Um, and we'll mention that in the forecast. We'll check the significant tornado parameter, the STP. 
Uh, this is valid Thursday evening at uh, 7 o'clock. Just to give you some comfort, you know, for, for the April 27th, it was maxed out at 10. All of these numbers are under 1. And, you know, to be really significant, you want to see that thing over 1. So this is not in the same universe as April 27th. Uh, and the Brooks Craven severe weather parameter, and this is a pretty good one. I've used this one a lot over the years. You really want to see that going over 40,000, and we don't have that. It looks like it tries to peak at about 30,000. And again, this is Thursday evening at 7. So obviously, there's enough instability for strong and maybe severe storms, but I would say it, it, you know, it's, it's not an overwhelming setup. It would be much more specific as we get closer. This is Monday, and we're talking something on Thursday, so we're still you know, several days out there to try and determine the mesoscale features of this. So good chance of showers and maybe a strong or severe storm Thursday. Friday, the uh, lead trough dampens out, and a stronger one comes down across the central plain states. And you know this run wants to kind of keep a moist air mass in place and maybe some risk of stray showers on Friday. And now, all of a sudden, on Saturday, we got that bowling ball feature north of us over central Illinois. And that's got a deep surface low there with a, a cold front trailing that thing. And that uh, would might lead us to think there could be a shower Saturday, but that looks relatively dry. And then Sunday, that weakening front gets in here. And again, the statistics, it's only got like a, uh, I think a 19% chance of rain. It, you know, you might consider a shower Sunday, but it would not be a big deal. Nothing more than an afternoon shower in spots, probably. And Memorial Day, look at the 588 Ridge right on top of us. Hot, dry weather as we open up the summer of 2011, at least in terms of meteorological summer. So, again, I don't think it rains much for the weekend, although you might mention a shower somewhere Saturday or Sunday based on that. We'll check the end of the forecast June 8th. Yeah, it's gone. You know, this morning, if you watched the video, it had that big cold-looking trough over the east that looked so anomalous, and uh, it's gone. We got a little wave coming in here and maybe a few showers, but again, uh, you know, June is typically a pretty calm month. It's kind of hot and muggy, and we have a shower in spots, and organized rain events don't happen around here that often. They can, but not that often. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.